This is a World War II U.S. Army Field Ration C B unit. Now the C ration's original objective was to provide the soldier with a readily carried ration which he could use in combat, independent of outside sources of supply and central preparation facilities. This one here was produced November 1942, and prototypes went as far back as 1936. Major procurements first started in 1941, and in 1942, the number of cans per case changed from 36 to 48, 24 being B units and 24 being M units, B standing for biscuit and M standing for meat. 55 million cases of C rations were produced in 1942. So 55 million times 24, that's how many B units were produced that year. That's 1 billion 320 million B units produced in the year of 1942. So it's listed here, biscuit, confection, and beverage, key for M unit enclosed. All right, so let's check this out. Lift up that key. Lift up that tab. No hiss. Oh wow, check that out. Ha, <laughs> what a time capsule. It smells huh, kind of fruity and wholesome. It's really interesting and <laughs> look, at, look at that piece of a biscuit right on the top. I can't help it. Um, hmm. That is so crisp. <laughs> That's whole grain, too. That's not overly processed. That tastes like a really good crouton. That's unbelievable. <laughs> wow. And it tasted like there was like a little bit of um, rye in there or something. Interesting whole grain biscuit. Okay, some sugar cubes right off the bat. Sweeten it with Domino. <laughs> this oldie's making me shake already. Check this out. I can't. It's always the old ones that do it to me. Oh, hey, look at that. A key inside the can. <laughs> Gotta grab that real quick. That's for your M unit. We'll save that. And those meat units, they, they all bit the dust years ago. So finding something like that would be like truly amazing. Is that molders? I don't know what that is on there. I'm still probably gonna get another bite of it, but um, yeah, so there's your confection, the um, hard candies. And so what's, I'm guessing this is gonna be coffee. We'll check that out in a second. Oh wow, look at that. Those are a weird kind of charms candy. Very interesting. Yeah. Wow. Looking pretty good. Let's get this out onto a tray. Nice. Okay, let's first start off with that coffee. I believe this is coffee. Um, yeah, let's figure out how to wedge it up with this knife. It'll take you a minute to uh, open this thing. There we go. Would you look at that? I can't even believe it. That old coffee. It smells very robust. Very interesting. There's something about it. What? What is that? That is, um, it smells so nutty. Very nutty. I gotta poke it with a fork. Oh, that is so satisfying. Listen to that. It's like poking a moon rock. Oh, that's incredible. We're going to drop this into a mess cup. Let's just dump the whole thing in there. Interesting little tin. That's for sure. And it looks like one of those charms candies liquefied a little bit on the top. That's what that was. All right, let's check out this sugar cube. Oh, that's looking perfect. Sweeten it with Domino. 
and we'll just do one cube. Look at that. That coffee looks pretty good. <laughs> Fantastic. So let's check out these biscuits. Those have a little bit of a sketchy look to them. Like this one here. <laughs> yeah, might not eat the one with the weird... I mean, that... I don't know what that is. Scrape it off and... I guess it's better, but... Why don't we try out one that's a little less weird? That one there looks pretty good. Those are some wholesome looking biscuits. I gotta try one of these out right now. Mm. That's perfectly fine. That's amazing. That thing, that's a 75 year old biscuit. And it's perfectly edible. Sorry for talking my mouth full again, but yeah, this is just, it's um, they changed the biscuit formula a few times in 1941. By 42, it's kind of perfected. Look at that interesting whole grain look. That's a whole grain biscuit. It's 75 years old with a perfect airy crunch. Mm. Mm. It's not bitter or anything. I keep picking up a little bit of um, rye. That's really, oh wow, that's just so satisfying. That's one of the most delicious biscuits. Oh wow, this is some really smooth coffee. It tastes a lot like just some really good coffee instant. There's like zero bitterness. It's mildly acidic. It's kind of a light to medium roast. It's still really hot. We'll come back to that in a minute. Mm. That's good coffee. It's really not bad. There's nothing strange or off-putting about it. So let's check out a charm. Gotta go for one of these. It looks like each one is a different flavor. The one, sadly, is liquefied. Look at that thing. Hmm. Tastes like lime. Hmm. That's lime flavor. Yeah, it kind of has its color coming back. Yeah, that, that, that used to be green. It's still pretty green. Kind of chewing bits of plastic off it along the way here. Hmm. It's just a good, sweet, lightly flavored with uh, artificial lime flavored hard candy. Only downside to it's the uh, cellophane with still stuck to it. Other than that, it's perfect. That's just a really good, enjoyable, classic lime flavored hard candy. Look at it now. That's pretty cool. It's more like a traditional boiled sweet. It's fantastic. Okay, so let's check out this coffee again. Oh yeah, that's that tastes just like coffee instant type one. Perfectly smooth, just perfect coffee. That's fantastic. They give you 0.25 ounces of coffee in that little can. They switched it from 0.36 ounces down to 0.25 ounces of coffee in um, December 1940. That's when there was the majority of changes to these B units. But after that, they just changed the formula of these biscuits a few times, switched from a chocolate bar to hard candy a few times. And the only other thing would be, instead of coffee, sometimes it'd be a lemon beverage drink mix or cocoa beverage powder which would be in a little disc that you had to break out. Hmm. Awesome whole grain biscuit. That has um, way better than an MRE cracker. A brand new, <laughs> one week old MRE cracker tastes less flavorful and less fresh than this does. I am not joking. This here, no joke, this right here tastes perfectly fresh, perfectly palatable. Not one person would say that looks or smells or tastes strange. Well, except for maybe this biscuit here. I won't even eat it. I don't know what that is. It, you know, something scuffed on it. I've eaten an old chocolate chip cookie that had a mold spot. I didn't notice it till like a few months later, but mm, I'm loving this. You know, this right here, this coffee tastes like a cross between coffee instant type one and chock full of nuts. It's smooth, it's lightly acidic, it has a nutty undertone. This is incredible. That's some of the best coffee. All right. This biscuit, it's perfect. Hmm. I can't believe it. It's not stale, it's not rancid. It is a perfect crunch. It's quite the experience. Um, 75 years old. 
is exactly what the heroes of World War II ate. Hmm. Has a nice whole grain, whole wheat, and rye kind of flavor. You know, what's really interesting is it's not stale in the slightest bit. I can't believe this. This is um, usually when you open up one of these World War II rations, there's um, they're at least a little bit stale. You know, they're a little bit turned. This isn't at all. One of those candies is slightly liquefied, and uh, one of those biscuits has some weird mold on it. This one doesn't, though. And I don't know if that's mold. It could just be scuffs. I mean, I, mean, I think that was the, the cracker that was on the top. It could have been scuffing around on metal and whatnot in there for the last three uh, quarters of a century, so... In the later part of the war, they started um, giving more variation on these B units. Instead of just one kind of B unit, they had three different kinds. A breakfast, dinner, and supper B unit. That coffee, wow. It really tastes like chock full of nuts. And um, that uh, quarter ounce portion is a perfect amount for a mess cup. So that was really cool. It's very unexpected. It's about as close as you can get to traveling back in time. These biscuits, they're not salted. That's one thing I want to mention. That's kind of interesting. They're not like old MRE crackers or MCI crackers. Hollow, almost wafer kind of deal to it. That will never get old to me. That amazement of this perfectly stored food. Well, near perfect. I mean, there are a couple flaws. Some liquefied candy, some weird scuffs on those biscuits. I'm sure those scuffs are just fine. Wow, the rye. The rye in this is awesome. Amazing. Well, this was a U.S. Army Field Ration C B unit from November 1942. Absolutely amazing. Just another food storage phenomenon. And, uh... Definitely didn't expect these components to have held up as well as they did. Anyway, this is Steve1989 off MRE Info. Hope you liked the video, and I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool. See ya.